Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. No Jaios over the stadium. This time it's all business. Jackie Love, I don't know if you want to walk up there buddy. That is 100% a flash and that is something absolutely to return on. I think JJ will be visiting bot lane a little bit more. You know, ghost on DRF. Which one? Doesn't make so, any sense because you know it doesn't in, start in with the, the button. In the recent patch notes, I think 14.2, uh, you know, the patch notes confirmed that, uh, you know, when you press the F key, the flash. So, you know, there's someone there in the road <laughs> office who's uh, keeping in tune with those F flashes. Subtly. But Tian is here on top side as well. Let's see how much they can do with juggling aggro with the map. All right. Is he going to be cooked alive? It looks like so. First blood straight into 369's beautiful pockets. So Tian actually didn't show. It's really uh -huh. important to know when Lucian hits his item spikes. He's going to have his back stopped again, actually. You can see that on the minimap. That's really important. Now JJ gets to come down towards bot side. These recalls have been stopped for a long time. What's the response to their 3v2 under turn? There's not much they can do. They're going to get the engage here. TP's now coming in. Jackie Love. Uh Oh, flash out nicely done. JJ now get cooked. Equalizer down. And a couple harpoon shots. And 369 is about to pick up another one. He's letting the angle go for Cream. Now Vampire going to get the reset on Double him here. Jump. Cream wants it. And Cream gets it with the buster shot. Just like that. Happy. Quick enough, double teleport, or at least a teleport oh, and a run no. come down to change things. Fisher caught out of his own net as well. He did not get the memo. 369 is just cooking him, man. You, I love it because we started this by saying that 369, not the biggest rumble player. Well, he's 3-0 now. He's been all... Champion, unless she's ahead of the game. Lucian is another <laughs> champion that loves to have a lead. And now you have this Rumble who's just at an absolutely absurd amount of gold, considering that the Udyr is meant to be one of the best champions in the game, is stopping this guy from getting much value. As I say that, he might have died. Get a shutdown, though. That's pretty nice. His 369 is going to fight back on a JJ, not going to get him. And the shutdown goes to Ala. So a decent amount, 600 gold in the pocket. This is the power of the Udyr. Does need to be careful about the response from 369, but... A really evening a goal. Literally, they are point point even to each other now. We have a flash play on mid. Shockwave coming through. Cream. He's tanking the turret there. Does flash out in time, and Tian gets the kill. Fisher once again just kind of caught out between things. All right, JJ's got to be the driver here right? of, of EDG. He's, he's the the adult in the situation. <laughs> He's the responsible adult. He's the one you go to if you trust things. Ooh, a little spicy one wow. I think Allah. Able to get some decent damage back, but this is exactly why he wanted the ghost. This is what you pointed out earlier. 369's got the angle. 369's cooking him alive. And he runs him down. You pay. Super. And Magic is a Over here, he gives even more. He's going to be alone on the bottom side of the map now, and he might get shut down. But uh, let's see if he can do some turnaround damage. Let's have that third hit. Does also have the wind becomes lightning to close the distance. Can't get the damage just yet. There's the shockwave to make sure it happens. Meanwhile, Cream getting a topside tower. TP coming out from Ala. Yeah, the de defensive teleport from Ala is uh, needed to stop Cream from just wrecking another turret down. 369 by the turret, which is the next focus. Just threaten to throw your ult under that turret, especially when you have something like the one to two item spike Lucian with Culling Ready as well. If they someone's rooted up by the Maokai ult, things go yeah, they go south very, very quickly. Oh, like they this. cut out JJ. All right, Mako must have just been in his head. He's like, Jackula, come here. I got a free kill. We play of it. I hope we do. And here it goes. Okay, so what's he seen? Yes, he was seen on a control one. Okay, so that one's pretty easy. Walks over vision. Tries to stick around for the scuttle crab. That is probably a mistake too much. Yeah, you're going to have the movement speed afterwards too from the, from the Nami's abilities onto Lucian. Oh. Just has no crescent guard to uh, play around with. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Got to feel good for Mako against this previous organization. Here's that Nature's Grasp under tower you're talking about with the equalizer combo. Breath of life, but Leave is on the wrong side of town here, and there ain't no breath left to give. Vampire just has to stand there as the light is starting to come back again. I wonder whether Leave should have just stepped backwards and used the breath of life to try and get to what has. At least uh, Vampire's there to give JJ a little bit more vitality, a little bit more healing and shielding. 
EDG trying to brute force priority into the mid lane and get towards this dragon. However, 369 is here and has the ultimate available again. And there's Malakai. Really good angle. The equalizer on top of the tidal wave, all the wombos, all the combos. And it's EDG starting to get picked apart. Ala gets pushed back by the buster shot. Cream is gone. That's actually really big for EDG, but Lee gets engaged. Dottie pops it back. And Jackie Love is going with two kills already. Looking for even more, but it's a nice little ultra mega fire kick from EDG. We'll see if Fisher can actually find the angle, though. I don't think he's getting out of this one alive as he's getting cooked by 369. Three and Jackie Love gets his third kill of the fight. You can keep your super mega fire kick. Here's the super galactic face melter. 369 or oh, nullify. That's actually really clever for Toffees. I like that combo. And now with the double AD carries and Leandri's burning on Baron, this will absolutely melt. Mako looking to ult to buy some time. Allah has BP. He's going to get in, try to get with the team, but the Baron's already gone. Top Esports trying to make a great escape now, and they'll do just that. Easily done. Picked up the Baron and has the ability to play that competitively. We always knew he could, but can he do it now in this fight? He has to teleport in. Jackie Love getting in there now. Dead Dead getting burned down, goes right back in. Jackie Love, the one that gets taken out. But Big Papa369 has come to the party, and he's not holding anything back. He does get the one over there. Ala getting taken down by Cream, and this is the problem with the double marksman composition. There's always a snake ready to bite. Three for one. Jackalove goes down after JJ and Fisher combo up to him, but they are now everyone who is capable of defending this turret and performing a little bit of a front line has hit the ground. Top oh will break open the base. This is a very bad Tristana. They won't have problems hitting turrets. Top Esports, this is probably the game-breaking play for them. It's feeling like it. They will lose their bottom side inhib and mid inhib here easily because Cream on this Tristana just burns down the base structures. And that will be now look to contest this mid lane, potentially get themselves an ocean salt and end this game. It's one thing to pick a combo, it's the other thing to execute it. We've seen it executed time and time again so far from top esports, and we're probably about to see it yet again. Nature's Grass comes out, equalizer on top, we're at the last Ooh, goes stolen. Through, but it was actually JJ that got it. Moonlight Vigil goes wide, JJ gives his life to top esports. I think they gladly give one dragon over to take multiple lives of EDG. As he's popped the goat, he's doing it again. It's the flame and burn tactic by 369. Cream just jumps on the bot lane off screen and GG. absolutely murders them. Cream doing his own stunts as the rest of his team keep the fleeing Cream. members of EDG busy. Cream making sure that Mako gets good old revenge against his old org. And at least making a statement here for Top Esports to get themselves into a 1 1 series scoreline. Insult to injury. Fisher falls one more time. And Cream puts. These were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.